evening, good evening, good evening. I thought I'd start this vlog off a little bit different today. Well, it's early evening. Dan's in a bed watching football and it's time for his football snacks. Now, we haven't discussed actually what he's having. I've had a look through the fridge and freezer. What I've come up with is a Mazzy McMuffin for him. He loves my Mazzy McMuffins and I'm going to do some chips as well. And if you hear him shout, it's because Liverpool's has scored. I haven't heard him shout yet, mind. Right, so start, to start with, I've got to toast, toast me muffins. So I'm going to do two of these for him, bless him. Dixie! Yeah! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> and it's good. Yay, well done. I got a happy man, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's been an awful busy day today, but it's been productive. I've fully enjoyed today, if I'll be quite honest. Dan has been struggling a little bit today. That's why I thought I'd start this video off with me. <laughs> so you're stuck with me for five minutes. <laughs> Right, just dry toasting the muffin, cut one in half and do the other one. I don't know why, but I can't get the chips out the freeze. Well, I do know why, it's stuck under the tray. Now, I've got to hurry because Dan has asked, requested for his food, bless him, at dead on half time. So at six o'clock I was supposed to start. I've probably got about 10, 15 minutes. I'm not even sure what I'm having is yet. Fryers on, you're gonna have to ignore the noise. Yeah, I'm so tired, I'll be honest, it's been such a busy day. I, I might just settle for a chip butties yet. So I need to get four slices of bacon cooked. It's a very small frying pan, but I'll manage. Definitely cutting the fat off, Dan will not like that. Not that amount. <laughs> done the chips are just got well I'm just keeping them on really well the eggs cook it is they're done they're done so what's going on here let me show you I've got muffins bacon cheese and then on top of that I'm going to be placing the egg in. oh no on top of the bacon I'm going to be placing the eggy well that's a bit of a there we go right So that do look yummy, even if I do say so myself. It is like a McDonald's Mazzy Mc, Mc sandwich. Mazzy McMuffin, that's what Dan calls them. And a few chippies. And of course, for Dan, he loves a tomato ketchup. Right, I'll go and bring this into me man. I don't think I'll do that. You ready, sweetie? Now my tea! Tonight I'm just going to settle with a plate of chips. They're already cooked. I have been too busy today and I'm still really busy. Right, see you in the morning. It's a new day! It is, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Wigtown. Yeah, we finally made it. <laughs> Wigtown! Now we've parked. It's heaving, it's a Sunday and the roads are just packed with cars. Can't see anyone walking around yet. But there's something kicking off over there. Uh, so we've parked just out of town. Yeah. Not the perfect place, but we've just noticed across there's a lorry park. Bit, bit, bit of a squeeze to get through, but we would have done. Maybe we should have parked in there. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Wigtown. What's Wigtown got to offer, Mazzy? I don't know, but it's cute because we've already driven through it and it looks nice. There's some kind of little small village festival going on. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And just like every other little village we've been in, there's a bowling green. Honestly, they're in perfect condition. They really look after the bowling greens in Scotland. Right in the centre. Every town has one. So the main building opposite the bowling green, it seems to be the main, it must be a town or all, Mazzy. Yeah, I've got so in my eye. <laughs> Something's kicking off in there. There's like queuing to get in, but there's no one there. Um, I'm wondering if it's just a COVID test site, but Mazzy seems to think so much going on. Yeah. Look at that, Lou Peter badge. 
<laughs> on the door. We're going straight down here to start with. Oh. Mazzy chose it. Yeah. Mazzy chose it. I don't like leaving anything out. The thing is about down here. What's this? What's this look? This looks it's I know what's down there. No, sorry, I've never seen anything like it. It's just somebody's electric <laughs> yeah. meter, Mazzy. <Mazzie. laughs> Come on. So we're going to start down here where the church is, Mazzy. I need to book, find a mirror. I've got something in my eye. It's quite eerie. It's very quiet. It's full it's of cars, but there's nobody here. It's like the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is where I was going to park originally. Just outside the church here. It's normally quiet outside churches, but... It was all full down here. We could have got there now, Mazzy, but we couldn't before. Oh, look, the main street, it is just heaving with cars. Anyway, we're outside the church, the parish church. Let's just have a quick look in the graveyard, Mazzy. I can see some ruins. Looks interesting. There is some interesting people buried in here. <laughs> so we're in the churchyard. You've got an old church, ruin, and then a new church at the other side. I'm looking for two Margarets. If anyone sees any, will you let me know? Oh, yeah. Found them, Mazzy. Yeah, I, I saw the picture of this this morning. It's the Wigtown Martyrs of 1685. There you go. Very sad story. Margaret and Margaret. I don't know the story. I'm just going to wing it. I'm not going to be showing you all this, there's too many words, but it's the Wigtown Martyrs of 1685 if you want to know more about it. But it's two Margarets, one of them was about, I'm completely guessing now, about 63 years old. <laughs> the other guessing. one was 18 years old. And they, they followed a certain religion in Scotland in 1685 and that religion died down and the government or the king or someone was trying to get rid of that religion and they were just killing people who still supported that religion which included these two ladies so what they did is cap caught them tied them to a stake on the beach near the harbour I'm guessing and just waited for the tide to come in and drown them which it did drowned the poor girls Aww. and they put the older one nearest the sea thinking she'll die first and the second one will beg forgiveness and she didn't Really? She stuck by her guns and she died as well. And they're buried in here. Bless them. Nice graves. So there is a car park down here. We've just walked two, three hundred metres down a hill, which we're going to have to go back up. We could have parked down there, never mind. Uh, to see a stake. I think this is the actual spot where they were left to die, basically. I think it might be original though, is it not? No? The martyr's stake. I doubt it, but we'll have a look when we get there. So we're still not sure if this is just a monument or this is the stake. No, it just marks the site. So this is... This marks the traditional site of the martyr... Dum. I thought it said martyr room. Of the martyrdom. So this is where there were stakes to... This actual stake? Well, this particular spot. spot. Whether that's the actual stake, I don't know. It makes you wonder though, does the sea actually come up this high then? It must do, or must have done in them days. You're talking hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Things have changed. You can see down here, there is water. So yeah, I guess back in them days. Um, Oh, that was the case. Erected in year 1937, coronation year 1937. So that was put in in 1937. That could be an original stone stake, I don't know. Who knows? Sad, isn't it? It's a very sad story. Imagine knowing your fate is coming towards you and you can't do nothing about it. All because of religion. Mm. You know, I've nothing against religion at all, but it's the cause of every war there's ever been. Religion and oil and money and greed. 
And anyway, that's enough history. Come on, let's go into Wigtown. Yeah, let's lighten the mood. Let's go see the little festival. All I saw in Wigtown really was bookshops. A lot of bookshops. Yeah. A lot of people you read. Like books? I do, as long as I've got plenty of pictures in and the cheap. <laughs> so here's the story if you do want to read it in short notes. You actually got their ages right, didn't you? Um, I knew one was 18, I knew the other was about 63, 64, and I knew they were both called Margaret. But it was the killing times, there you go. But that'll give you a rough idea, if you want to know more, look it up, but very, very sad story. The Wick Town Martyrs. Yeah. What did I just say about history? Um, That's enough history, let's get into town, yeah. come on. <laughs> It needs one of them electric cable cars, doesn't it? Down to yeah. the stake. How tiring. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking, Mazzy, that would have been yeah. a good place for a, a ghost hunt. What, here? Yeah, you know, in the old ruin a bit, trying to contact the, the no. two girls. There, there's better than that. What, better than oh, the, two, the two girls. Oh, that wouldn't be very nice, do you think? Well, what makes that not nice, but trying to contact other ghosts nice? Yeah, yeah. I think that would have been a cracking idea. In 1832, on this spot, nothing happened. It's getting an old joke, is this now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shot horror, <out>. nothing happened. <laughs> this is McIntyre's Butchers, Bakers and Candlestick Makers. Wow. That's what it says up there. Um, closed. Oh, I would have been well good. You know, I, I still like, I, I want to keep buying local produce and trying local stuff, but we've got so much in this fridge at the moment, needs eating. Not as much as you think, actually. There's a lot in that fridge. Yeah, needs enough eating. for another three days, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the next place we're going to after today, um, I think it's a bigger town than what we're in. We've been in. You didn't tell me that because I asked you where we're we going tomorrow and you said oh, you didn't remember. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but it's, uh, I think it's going to be about the same size, maybe a bit smaller than Kukubri. Oh, okay. Kukubri. Another bookshop. No, it's an antique shop. Can we go in and have a look? We like antiques, don't we? A book case bench, Mazzy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Quite clever. Yeah. This is called Wigtown Festival Company. It's, I don't know what it is, Mazzy. What is it about this place and books? I know. I'm sure someone will tell us in the comments, but it is clearly like the capital of books uh -huh. in Scotland. <laughs> Every shop is a bookshop. Oh, look, that's cute. Primary school, but it's called Lover's Walk. Oh, you shouldn't be calling it Lover's Walk and Primary School. You shouldn't be mixing them two together. No, but do you want to take a walk up to Lover's Walk? No, we've got, we've got to go straight on there, Mazzy. Just quick. No, honestly, straight up and up there. We found a map. Yeah, it's going to be helpful. Well, it's not going to be, it's not a great map, <laughs> let's be honest. So we're there, we're heading this way. Just been looking at these, you have got a gallery, a bookshop, a bookshop, a bookshop. That sounds good. <laughs> what was that one, Mazzy? 27. The Frying Scotsman. The Frying Scotsman. <laughs> but it's nearly all bookshops. I don't get it. So the first shop we've come to, yeah. which I showed you on that sign, the gallery yeah. place, free delivery in Wigtown. Of what? Anything you like, Mazzy. Oh, okay. I think what they're trying to say is they are willing to walk 50 yards to your front door because that's how big <laughs> you'd have to walk to deliver in this little town. <laughs> nah. So it's all kicking off in here, Mazzy, the Wigtown Festival. Yeah, I don't really know what it is. I see this big wicker. Bull, I think it is. Yeah, Wicker Bull, that looks cool. The Gardens. Couldn't come up with any other name, but never mind. Let's it's a cow, look. actually. Is we it a cow? It's called Kelton, Mazzy. <laughs> He's big, isn't he? That is a bull and a half. The Wicker Bull, one ton bull. Uh, How big is it? Sorry, uh, very generously. Well, it says on that sign, the one ton bowl, but right. the, the one ton wicker here. belted galloway. Um, which is a great place for the ball. It's kind of a lot of uh, the overfall from the middle of the out there. 
It is actually the Wigtown right, right. Festival, my bit. Yeah, it's good. What have you just seen down there? Well, there's a little, le le I say little, <laughs> a lady at a bench. She's got a typewriter and it says, um, hello, stranger, let me write a poem for you. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, I want one. That'd be really good. Stage over there, someone's going to be playing in a bit, I'm sure. Give her idea, she'll come over and write. And you can get a beer. You can Would get you like a beer. beer? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm driving. <laughs> Would you like a non-alcoholic beer? No. There's a bookshop over there claiming to be the largest in Scotland. It can't be, come on, it's not that big. No way. Mazzy says we have to go in there. I don't know though, it might be down uh, like in an underground secret it, bit. It'd have to have about six levels, Mazzy. <laughs> no, there's no way that's the biggest in Scotland. It's quite frustrating this because it's such a lovely place. Yeah. There's really not much to show you because every, and I mean every shop, apart from the butcher's which is shop, <laughs> shop, the butcher's which is shut, is a bookshop. Frying Scotsman. That's what it is. It's actually a chippy, is it? Is it a chippy? Let's see what they've so, got to sell. Yeah. It is just a fish and chip shop. But I was asking the question here, what is a supper? And someone told me a supper is two fish and some chips. Really? Yeah, because when I got some, do you remember I got fish and chips? Yeah, yeah. Large haddock and chips. Yeah. Cost me about £7.50. Yeah. And fish supper was about £3.90. Oh, wow. So why did I get two fish and some chips for £3.90? don't know. <laughs> Try it next time. When is it open? I don't one? know. Oh. I don't know if that's true, though. Is it, do you get two fish in a fish supper? And they did like pie suppers and all sorts of suppers you in know, there, yeah. Does sausage that mean two suppers. pies and two sausages? That's what I mean. Is that what it means? You get <laughs> two. I think you got peas as well, Mazzy. <laughs> What's it all about? I don't know. There's lots of these made up like this around the town. You don't know what they're about? No. Well, this is the pirate and the potato, Mazzy. Potato man. It's probably a famous book. The pirate and the potato. Yeah, but they're not all pirates, are they? I bet, I, bet anyway. though, I bet there's something to do with the title of books. Yeah. That's the kind of place we're in. Yeah. <laughs> I were right, I were right, you were wrong, you were wrong. I thought it was Dracula, but... I thought it was Harry Potter. <laughs> Gryffindor. I'm coming! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on today. <laughs> this is a very, very weird place. They've even got bookcase book covers. And bookcase jigsaws. <laughs> bookcase jigsaws. <laughs> Oh, and look, a little pencil oh, that's, brooch. That's brilliant. That would be really good, like, if you knew someone, an artist, or for your teacher, for a little gift. But what is going on? I don't know, but it's good. Can you read that? If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. Albert Einstein. I thought he were a clever man. Clearly not. My great great uncle was his friend though, that's a true story for you. Yeah. Look at all these maps and a straight away look. Very <laughs> sad. <laughs> My hometown. <laughs> they might have one there for you though, you're after stuff. You like stuff like this, don't you? I do. You buy them? I do. <laughs> right, this is another one of the community shops, so we're gonna take a look in. The lady who runs it has just come out and says, look what he's just bought me for Christmas. Yeah. BMW. Really, yeah, really posh, right? right <laughs> he look. hasn't really, she was joking. Let's have a look. Just give you a little glance to what these shops are about. <laughs> Got everything and anything. Another community shop. Yeah. More money spent. Eleven pounds. It's going up, Mazzy, it's going up. That one was a little bit more expensive than the ones we've been in, but they're still really cheap, so I'm happy. Oh, want... cobwebs, what is that? <gasps> wow. It's a little uh, restaurant type place. What have they got? I wonder if it's Good been... prices. Everything is under like 12 quid for a meal. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, that's good price for a meal. That's our oh, steak, that's the most expensive at 18.95. That's a good priced uh, place, is really? that? Right, we haven't got long, Mazzy, because... Oh, yes, we've got a live We've got today. a live in an hour and a half. <laughs> well, it was lovely getting out of the house today, wasn't it? It certainly was. Yeah. So that's what's going on. It's the Wigtown Book Festival. 22nd of September to 4th of October. So we are in 
the middle of it. Art and, an art and design fair open with a sensor guard. Mountain, yeah, let's Should go down it. No, I'll go down here, Mazzy. Come on. <laughs> it's all to do with art and it's stuff. Just there. Yeah, we've got to be good at getting on now, Mazzy. An art shop here. Uh -huh. Do you recognise that, Mazzy? No. I don't know what, okay, is it Cragton? Cragton Church? That's the church you were on about going to yesterday, but... Oh, yes, the, um... It was in the middle of a field. There was nothing there. Yeah, but it's the way to be nice. But, yeah, it looked OK, but there was nowhere to park, and there was no graves around it, and it was locked up, so you couldn't go in. But, yeah, someone's drawn a picture of it there. There is quite a lot of bars here. I've noticed about four or five. Yeah, I haven't yeah. noticed it. I've only noticed this one. <laughs> I don't know if I was recording in there actually when he says, Do you want a drink? I says, No, because I'm driving. Um, the Scottish law is different to the English law. You can't have a single drop of alcohol and right. drive. In England, you can get away with having a pint and then driving, but not in Scotland. So. Not that it's advisable. Say, no, it isn't. <laughs> But uh, no, I won't touch a drop while driving in Scotland. So this is the Wigtown Festival kicking off in this square. There's a man there on a microphone just talking. And he just said, Wigtown has the highest population of unemployment in Scotland. No, I think that was in said. 1998 though. Oh, it I was don't on know, the then. screen. Oh, this looks fun. No, that ain't fun, Mazzy. I think that's very sexist. <laughs> I'm not enjoying that at all. <laughs> Wigtown Women's Walk. A walk just for women. That ain't fair, is it? it does look a good walk as well. But I'm not allowed. <laughs> is that Liverpool? Um, I don't know. No, it is Wigtown and Bladnoch Football Club. How cool is that? Yeah, it's real good, isn't it? In that community shop, they did sell a Liverpool top. Did they? A Liverpool t-shirt. <laughs> but it wasn't an actual Liverpool top top, or I'd have got it. So we're leaving Wigtown now. Yeah, that was cute. A nice stop. Yeah. If you like books, come to Wigtown. Yeah. If you don't like books, still come to Wigtown. Yes. <laughs> the next morning. It is. And we're leaving campsite. Oh, I'm gutted. It was wonderful here. King, so, King's Green Caravan Park, £17 a night with electric. Mm. And there's not even any staff here. It's just It just runs itself. You know, they pop in. Yeah. But You can just turn up without reservations as well and follow the guidelines what to do. And It's really good. It actually feels longer than three days we've been here. <laughs> and a beautiful, beautiful view of the sea as well. Yeah, and internet, you had internet. And internet. <laughs> um, what were I going to say? Yeah, we haven't had a bad campsite yet, have we? We've, no. We've only been on independent campsites. We haven't yeah. been with any of the big clubs, and we've loved every single one of them, I haven't we? I think we're going to avoid the big clubs. The, Try. The two which we're normally in. Yeah. You know, we're off, we had that holiday park one. And we're, yeah. there's next ones, a similar one. So the, there is some big-ish ones. Yeah. But we're enjoying them because they're just something a bit different. So we're heading off now to Port Patrick. Yay! Port Patrick, <laughs> come with us. Can you see this here, Mazza? No. Chapel oh. Finian, look. You can't see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, we have to get out. We're here now. Chapel Finian. Can't just drive past something as historic as Chapel Finian. Now this is from about the 1100s. Um, and they reckon there's a board there. Fill your boots, look. Fill your boots. They reckon this chapel, the Irish used to come on a pilgrimage, you know, down to Whitton where we showed you yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yeah, I think it was, or the day before. Um, they used to stop here, cross the Irish Sea, get to here, and then go on a pilgrimage down to Whitton. I don't know why they didn't just go straight to Whitton, to be honest with you. It made more sense, wouldn't it? But yeah, it's just a chapel. It's nothing exciting, but uh, can't just go straight past it. Fill your boots. Right, moving on. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Have you noticed, Mazzy? What? 
you've got like Saint Christopher, Saint Peter, Saint Michael. People still call the kids them names, don't they? Peter, Michael. Yeah. There's no Finians. They Why might they? Be. They're in. No one in the world's called Finian. But there were, there were actually two St. Finians, not just one. So why isn't Finian a used name anymore? So I'm going to put it out there now. If there's anyone out there pregnant, if you, the first person who contacts me, showing me the birth certificate, proving that you have called your child Finian, you will get a free Travel Trolls TV sticker. <laughs> I want to bring back the name Finian, Mazzy. So here we are in right. Port Patrick. Very nice, isn't it, Mazzy? Yeah. Beautiful place. Can't wait to walk round here. Yeah. Nice. We've just driven around it, uh, through it, and it looks beautiful. But we didn't show you any of it, because we're going to save that for our next vlog, aren't we? Yeah. So join us tomorrow. If you want to have a look around Port Patrick, because yep, that's what we're going to do now. Yep. We'll leave you with a view of the beautiful sea. It is nicer up here because it's, it's turning turquoise, is the sea. And you've got some lovely clippy bits up along here, so catch us tomorrow. Bye! Do what you need to do.